All right, all right, all right, I think it's cool to stop and talk right here. So, I did make it downtown, as you saw in the shots just a second before. I couldn't really talk because I was trying to beat the sun and like get all my shots when I had enough sun, but it, it didn't work out. So, here I am kind of recapping. Um, the 991s are dope, the Steve Job joints are dope. Um, hopefully I'll get a pair of 992s from this next seller or gifter or whatever you want to call them. But make sure that you do hit them up. These are extreme comfort. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The Wave Runners, I'm sorry they got you beat, but I do love these and I do got to keep it moving because you know how it goes out here. Head is definitely on a swivel, you know what I'm saying? Swiveling. I'm loving the new balances. Just, I'm just loving them. You know what I'm saying? Can you guys still see me? Huh? Love the sneakers. Make sure you follow me on IG. You know what I'm saying? That's where I, I'm, I'm the most active there on IG, so make sure you follow me there. And um, that's pretty much it, guys. We'll talk about the rest of it in the unboxing part of it. Peace, peace, peace. This thing ain't cutting off, man. What's going on with this thing, man? Yo, peace and love, guys. Let's go ahead and talk about these. These are the 991 New Balance DSM. That stands for Dover Street Market. And I just had to have these shoes. I don't know what it is with the New Balance Gray. I just love them. And that little box right there will explain what the Dover Street Market is. I didn't pick these up because it's a collab with the with DSM. I picked these up because I just love the silhouette and the quality of the sneakers. That's really why New Balance is winning me right now. And I haven't been telling you guys about this, but I became a super New Balance lover as far as day-to-day -day usage. I think I mentioned that earlier, but I just love them to walk in every day. Now, this little card will explain everything it does. The biggest tech in these is the Absorb. And in this shoe, it works pretty well. Like, it's it's good for, like... You know, taking long walks. Some people use these for running, and it says down there the absorb cushioning and end cap built for the mild to moderate overpronator. What, what does that mean? Hold on a second. Overpronation basically means if you start to develop like a weird walking pattern that actually starts to flatten out your natural arches in your foot, you can get leg injuries, your feet will start to hurt. And I, I think I've done this in certain basketball shoes when I was younger. So it is a thing. Even wearing certain shoes could do this to your feet and you you may not even realize it it could just be happening back in 07 when steve jobs was unveiling the iphone or ipad i think it was the iphone actually he was wearing the 991s this shoe right here that i'm reviewing and there was some controversy over it because when he was wearing these 991s the 992s just came out so they were like steve when you know when you're gonna wear the 992s and steve was like look dude i just dropped the new iphone i'm not worried about switching up the model yet i'll get to that but those 992s, I really want a pair of those. Like, I, I really, really want a pair of those. Gifter, are you with me? But Steve eventually did switch over to the 992. And the 992 is more well-known with him, I mean, because of that. But he did start with the 991. Here's a quick look at all New Balances changing their logo. They just put more less lines, it looks like. Okay. I should have took a look at those laces, guys. I'm sorry. I'm a bad reviewer. But anyway just let's look at these shoes in detail let's just kind of look over what i love about this the shoes besides them being so comfortable 
Here's the 2002R that I did a few months ago, and this was actually the shoe that made me kind of start my new love for the New Balance sneaker. This wasn't even a collab, they just kind of made this rain cloud pack thing with two other pairs, and it was amazing. I thought it all would stop with the 2000R2, but when I seen these, I was like, man, I gotta, I gotta send them. So again, shout out to the gifter for sending me these. They don't really like to send New Balances through, even though they're gaining a lot of popularity these days. So again, shout out to them for doing that. And again, let's just take a look at some of the the quality aspects that just jump out to me. Like the whole shoe is a beautiful suede. I can't really confirm if this particular shoe was made in England. They, they said that they are. A lot of these new balances are made in England. A lot of them are made in the US. But I think most of them for the most part are all assembled in China. That's just, I think there was like an article that came out that they found out that new balances all weren't made in the US, that they were actually made in China. And that's not really a surprise. If you've been watching my channel for a long time, that'll kind of clue you in. And you can probably nitpick stuff here with the stitching. That's always going to be a thing. It changes from shoe to shoe. I personally don't care. I'm more about the comfort and the quality of the sneaker, which they nailed on this one. She so says made in England. It should say made in China, but whatever. 991 DSM. And I know these new balances, it took me like three days of YouTubing to kind of figure out how they name this stuff. There's the Dover Street Market. That's a nice touch. But they name these shoes. I don't know where they get these numbers from, but they kind of have almost serial numbers. It's, it's kind of weird. That's the retail 2000R that I bought to kind of compare it to this one. And this is the most comfortable New Balance I have. They have like this, their own energy foam in this shoe, and it is super responsive. It's actually more responsive than Adidas Boost. I mean, to me, my, that's what my feet are telling me. On the bottom, it's got the absorb, and all this stuff again is just foam and rubber, different types of foams cut and angled, and all it is is foam and rubber stacked in a way that makes it soft when you walk on it. And for me, it works. It, it just does. So that's pretty much my take on these. It all started with the 2002R, went to the 991s, which we have here. And then now I need a pair of those 992s. And after that, I think I'll be good to go with the New Balance sneakers because these are really meant to warn. They're not really like a fashion statement. Some kind of know about them, some don't. But the 992 is probably New Balance's most expensive and most popular sneaker that they've made. And you see under the black light, I don't see anything under here. There's no stitching marks. There's no stamps. Usually when I do these black lights, I'm looking for stamps. I'm not really looking for the stitching flaws from the leading lines. That I mean, you, you can't really make the shoe without them. So I'm not really looking for that. You know, on Jordan 1, sure. But these, I couldn't find anything that was wrong with them. Again, I don't have a retail pair to compare these two. But yeah, that is what it is. So go ahead and make sure you follow. Like, subscribe, follow me on IG, all that good stuff. And, uh... I'm out, guys. Peace, love, and light. One. All right. I made eight minutes. Good, good, good.